Today's video sponsor is Wild Deodorant. That was upside down. I've used Wild Deodorant now for a good couple of years and I've actually worked with them for maybe the past couple of years as well as that. So I'm very grateful that they continue wanting to work with me. Since I started using this, I think it was two summers ago now, I have not used a single other deodorant just because I find that this works so well for me. And they have a very pretty limited edition sunset case, which kind of also matches the whole Barbie thing, which was unintentional, but very cute. You can also get your name engraved onto this if you want to. And it is a natural and refillable deodorant. So you get the case and then you just buy the refills and the refills are compostable. The deodorant itself is a natural deodorant. It has no parabens, no aluminium salt, so it's a lot better for your armpits. They have loads of different cases that you can choose from in different colors. They have lots of different scents. They have some scents that are also for sensitive skin specifically. This is the box that it comes in. They've also sent a little coconut and vanilla shampoo bar. I was not aware that they did shampoo bars, but I will give it a go. And the limited edition scent to go with this is the Tropical Sorbet. Oh, it smells unreal. It smells like an ice lolly to me. It says in the information that this has got pineapples, passion fruit, oranges, papaya, and coconut, which are some of my favorite scents ever. I love fruity smells. And the way that this works, you want to pop the lid off, pinch these two little side buttons, pull down. If you're refilling it, make sure that this is twisted all the way down to the bottom before you try pulling this off. Otherwise, it's not going to work. You pop on your little refill, put the case part back on, and make sure it goes in with a click and then you are ready to use your new deodorant and you just do a couple of swipes under each armpit obviously you put the lid back on they also do little minis if you are traveling and you want to i don't know shove one in your hand luggage the little mini ones just look like this and you push them up with your finger like to come out the top like that and you can use my code which is soph sunset it gets you 20 percent off of all wild products i will leave a link down below thank you wild for sponsoring this video let's get on to the makeup hello this is probably the only time you will ever see me wear pink and i did order a much better t-shirt but it didn't arrive in time so i've literally just had to wear this this is the only pink thing that I had in my wardrobe. Today I'm testing some exciting new makeup launches and I'm gonna try and do a Barbie inspired thing because so many new launches are like pink and Barbie themed. So let's transform myself into a Barbie doll. I've got a real mixture of drugstore and high-end stuff. The first thing that I'm gonna try is the Boots Glow Essence. That's it. Just the glow essence. This was actually sent over in a PR package of things that people are using in Love Island because Boots is one of the Love Island sponsors. And it says on it, I'm in the villa. So let's give this a try. I'm gonna kind of use this as a primer. Has anyone been watching Love Island this year? I've really been enjoying it. I feel like this year is so much better than the past couple of seasons. I always start off by being like, I can't be bothered to watch it. And then I'll watch a couple of episodes and then just get hooked into it. But yeah, I've really been enjoying it this year. Ooh, that feels really nice. It smells kind of fruity. It feels really hydrating actually. That feels really good. I checked the ingredients and I think it had a glycerin and niacinamide as some of the like top ingredients. Surprisingly, I thought it was gonna make my skin feel tacky, but it's not really. It just feels a bit like oily almost. Maybe because I have a moisturizer on underneath, but skin is definitely glowing. I don't have a new foundation to test, so I'm just gonna use this Max Factor one. And somebody from their team watched my video and sent me over a couple shades to try, which is very, very nice of them. I'm gonna go for the shade 45 Warm Almond. I mean, like I said, I've tested this foundation before. This is just a different shade. I feel like we have quite a lot of catching up to do. Um, and I've been a bit all over the place recently. I think I'm gonna do a kind of like chatty Q&A type video while I sit and do my makeup. Either I sit there and do my makeup or I could do it in like a takeaway food kind of sense and do it on my vlog channel and like sit there with a McDonald's or something like I used to do. So let me know how you prefer that. But one of the reasons is that we're having some building work done at the moment. So it's just been a lot going on like um, in terms of noise and people in the house and a lot of like banging and crashing and drilling. It's been a little bit more tricky to film and get at as much content done just adding a little bit more to see if it's buildable, but I think that shade is pretty good. And oh my God, for my mirror in this video, guys, NYX launched a Barbie collection. Look at this mirror. Hang on, let me just get it out. They have hit the nail on the head with this collection because when I opened it, I actually, oh, I've dropped it. I actually felt like a little kid again. Look at this mirror that they've launched. It's a flip phone. I used to have toy flip phones like this. I always wanted a pink flip phone. I never had a pink flip phone. Actually, did I? I got, when I was younger, the Motorola Razr, the limited edition purple one. Not the pink one, the purple one. That phone was sick. But how flipping cool is this mirror? One of them is a magnifying mirror and the other one is just a normal mirror. So I'm gonna use this for the rest of this video. Okay, this is so strange. The areas of my skin where I have some dry patches. This is kind of like clinging too, but it didn't do that when I used it before. I have a feeling it's the base that I'm using underneath it's gone a little bit sort of patchy. I'm gonna do my concealer and bronzer because I don't have anything new, but I will be back for liquid blush. Just adding a little bit more concealer to my chin. For my blush, NARS recently launched some new liquid blushes. These are the Afterglow Liquid Blush, and I've got three different shades. I've got the shade Brazen, which is the only one that I've sort of dipped into so far. I've got Orgasm, which is a classic, and Dolce Vita, which is also a classic. So let's just have a quick look at these. I was lucky enough to be invited to the kind of launch event for these, but I didn't actually try them on the day. I tried the lip products, which I love. Ooh, I don't know why I smell it. It doesn't smell of 
anything. Oh my gosh. Okay, that one is Orgasm. That looks pretty. I tried the lip products though, which, oh my God. The NARS Afterglow Lip Balms are some of my favorite lip products ever of all time. And the new ones are just delightful. I will show you later. This one is Dolce Vita. That one's probably not my kind of shade. And then this one is Brazen, which is kind of like a peach. You know what? I think I'm gonna go for orgasm because it's pink and I'm there's a bit of a pink theme today Not sure if you've noticed, but they're kind of like a balmy blush, which I'm a little bit scared about if I'm honest Oh, actually all those colors mixed together look really nice I get a little bit scared of like balmy cheek products because sometimes they can sort of like lift your foundation Let's just go straight in with my cheek on one side. This might be a bad idea. Oh, okay, wait, it comes out a lot more subtle than I thought it would. Where did the color go? I'm actually gonna try putting some on the back of my hand and then sort of like tapping my brush into it just so that it spreads it out a bit more evenly and then try applying it to my face. Okay, it's actually very, very subtle. Luckily, it doesn't seem to be lifting my foundation. It's just kind of like mixing in with it because I've not set it yet. The color is cute, but it's definitely lighter than how it looks in the tube like when you actually blend it out i guess that's kind of supposed to be the point because they're supposed to be a kind of like balmy glowy no makeup makeup kind of thing like the lip balms it's supposed to be like a sheer tint so i'm guessing these blushes are the same but for me personally i prefer my blushes to have a little bit more payoff when i first put them on maybe some of the brighter colors because i'm sure that they had a couple of other brighter shades those ones you probably wouldn't need to build as much i mean it's a really pretty color it looks nice and it has a nice glow but i prefer my blushes to have a little bit more pigment. The colour matches my top pretty well though so I'm happy about that. My skin is glowing but I do need to set this. I'll be right back with a matte face probably but I have got the new Charlotte Tilbury glowy setting mist so we'll see if it can like bring everything back to life once I've set. I've powdered add a powder bronzer. I've gone a bit much on my nose just because I'm going to try and snatch it with some highlighter. The next thing is again from the NYX Barbie collection and it's so small and thin and I feel like this is going to be so good for travelling. This is a little face palette and it says greetings from Barbie land and it's just got little sunglasses on it. I think it's so cute. The packaging is all kind of like toy makeup, which I think is kind of genius because it's kind of reminds me of the type of makeup that Barbie would probably use. But there is a Barbie pink blush, a peachy blush, and then a golden highlight. I think the highlighter might be a bit dark, but we'll see. Obviously, I'm going to go for the pink blush. It's just a pink matte blush. Oh my god, that is the most perfect like Barbie pink blush. How flipping cute. The pans are a little bit small, so I'm using a slightly smaller brush. This is technically a highlighter brush, but I've been using a highlighter brush to do my blush recently and it actually works pretty well oh my god i love this color but it's so barbie let's put some on my nose on that same brush i'm gonna be brave and try the highlighter which looks uh, maybe i could just about get away with it it's a very golden highlight, which is good because I think it will work on a lot of skin tones. Oh, hang on. However, I feel like because that's quite pigmented, it's sort of covered over the blush. You know what? Mixing them together kind of works. Next time, what I would probably do is dip my brush into both the blush and the highlight at the same time to make like a glowy, blushy thing. Oh my gosh, that's actually a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. It looks a little bit chunky in the pan, I won't lie. Like it looks more like an eyeshadow, but actually... Oh my skin, that looks really nice. Okay, slay. Is it gonna be too dark down the center of my nose though? That is the question. Oh my God, it's actually so blinding, what the hell? It's a little, little touch too dark down the center of my nose, but I think I can just about get away with it. If I didn't have tan on though, this would be too dark for me for sure, but it actually looks fine on my cheeks. I really like that little palette, I think it's good. And then these, stop it right now. Like when I opened this, I was like, it's so cute. This is a little eyeshadow palette and it has a miniature little lip gloss gloss, the NYX butter gloss, like the tiniest little butter gloss phone charm attached to it. It's just the type of thing that I would want to have on my phone. You know what? I think at one point I did have a mini lip gloss charm that I probably got free in a magazine on one of my flip phones. So it's very fitting from my childhood and I just think that these are the cutest things ever. So there's a Barbie palette and a Ken palette. Again, these are so thin and light and travel friendly and you can chuck on your bag and they don't have a mirror, which is the only downside, but then I guess you've got your little flip phone. And I've got to say, these eyeshadows actually look really nice. I hate when they do this, though, where they put in, like, colours that go together in separate palettes. Like, there's a matte pink in this one and a shimmery pink in this one, but no matte pink in this one. So if you want to do a pink look with shimmer and matte, you have to buy both of them, which is a little bit frustrating. But, oh my god, these shimmers actually look so pretty. They're actually really cute. Then they've also launched jumbo eye pencils, again, in Barbie and Ken. There's a pink and a blue. You know what? I'm actually so excited to see the film. I was obsessed with Barbie 
Barbie when I was younger. And then at a point I switched to Bratz instead and then it was like, oh no, not Barbie, I want Bratz now. I'm just lightly setting my eyes but not fully to the point where they're like matte. Quickly before we do that, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and I got sent over a little box from Rare Beauty which has got their new brow pencil in it. But I've got the shade Rich Taupe. So this is the brow pencil. It feels really nice, it's like metal and a little bit weighty and it's got a really skinny little diamond shape applicator which is really thin and looks good and then on the other side you've just got a little spoolie normally i would go for like an ash brown kind of shade but this taupe does actually look darker than the regular sort of taupe shades that i see let's give it a go and see if i can get oh yes this shade is good it's actually a little bit creamier than i thought it was gonna be i guess that's why it's called rich taupe because it's a bit darker than your standard taupe color the second that you've used it it gets a little bit blunt so i actually find it easier to use these kind of pencils upside down i don't know why but like the charlotte tilbury one is kind of like this as well and yeah for some reason you get a sharper line when it's upside down it is actually a tiny little bit warm and i know that this is a really fussy thing to say but if i had to give some feedback feedback. Just for my personal preference, it's a tiny little bit too creamy, which I know that for some products, a creamy product is good. Like obviously you don't want it to be too waxy that it's like dragging on your skin, but I feel like it's kind of easy to make it a little bit messy. So you just have to be careful. I do like it, but it doesn't overtake my benefit one in terms of formula. I'm going to do the PIX, PIX? NYX Jumbo Eye Stick, the pink one. And I'm going to put some of this on my outer corners and I guess kind of like the base for that other pink eyeshadow and then I'm just gonna kind of dab over the edges of this to blend it out a little bit let's try and blend out that little crease in my concealer I mean yeah that's blended really easily tap, 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 tap. I'm taking Ken this bright pink matte color and I'm just gonna put that over the top whoa she's bright it's blending really nicely same again on the other side my only criticism again is that because the, the pans are quite small it's kind of tricky tricky to dip your brush in there without hitting the other shades but generally that's worked really nicely it's blending really nicely then on the inner parts of my eyes i could take the pink wait actually let's put the pink on like the middle of my eyelid oh my god that is actually so nice nyx have smashed this collection it's a really nice shimmer formula it's thin but it's foily wow that's really nice so that's the shimmery pink shall i take that brush let's take the brush then i'm actually switching back to the ken palette and i'm going to take this lilac just because i think it will brighten up the inner corners a little bit let's try it with a brush first Ooh. Oh my god, that is such a nice shade, but it's like a duochromey bluey purple. Oh my god, these shimmers are so nice. As in, these are some of the nicest NYX eyeshadow formulas I think I've ever tried. They've put everything into this. Like, some brands will release a collection for like a movie or a brand or whatever, and it will just be like the name slapped on some shitty products, and they just get them out really quickly and don't really think about the quality, but no, these are stunning. I would 100% use those eyeshadows again. Let's just put some on me lower lash line. I just use those exact same shimmers as well also because it's barbie i'm gonna add some glitter and this is the half magic chrome addiction eye paint and liner this is one of the shimmer ones and it's called baby bunny and it's a pink like a baby pink color i think let's actually have a look at it first oh my god yeah it's like a baby pink with gold reflex by the look of things oh my god look at that i'm actually just gonna put some of this directly over the top of that lilac just to brighten up my inner corners even more then just making sure to take the brush to blend through. You know what? It's actually kind of a really similar colour to that lilac. Just a little bit brighter. No! It's kind of broken up the eyeshadow on my very inner corners a little bit. I don't know how well you can see that. I guess because this is so wet. And because I've just layered it over the top of the eyeshadow, I think it's like lifted it a little bit, which is a shame. You can't tell too much, but oh, that's so frustrating. It was looking so good. I'm going to put this pink eye crayon in my waterline. I don't think I've done a standard black wing liner in ages on my channel. I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. So I've just done a double wing and then I drew these little like extra lashes on my lower lash line just because why not? For my mascara, I've got the Beauty Bay High Key Mascara, which I think has literally just launched. I believe that this is Beauty Bay's first mascara. So let's give this a whirl. Oh my God, what does that brush remind me of? That looks very familiar. If this is supposed to be a dupe of something, let me know. Okay, so far it seems like quite a dry formula which i like it's got very short 
actually they're not that short like spiky bristles so far it's doing a pretty good job actually giving my lashes volume and length it is going a little bit clumpy however all of my favorite mascaras are a little bit clumpy because then you get more volume with them yeah wow actually it's building nicely look at those let's just do my lower lashes even with heavy eye makeup on i can tell that that mascara has done a really good job i'm really impressed with that nice i'm having a dilemma because nyx have launched barbie matte lip creams which look stunning and would match this perfectly. They've also got a Barbie Butter Gloss, which is this hot pink colour. However, I've tested a lot of the NYX collection in this video and I really want to try the new Charlotte Tilbury lip things. So maybe I'll try those and then if I don't like them, I'll take them off and try one of these. Oh crap, guys, I forgot to do my setting spray before my mascara. At this point in the video, my makeup has started to go like a little bit shiny anyway because the foundation was glowy. So let me just mattify again. And then we have got this, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Hydrator Mist for Radiant Skin. I don't know know if this is supposed to stick on your makeup. Hydration in a flash. Ooh, it smells fresh. I have a feeling it's not gonna be the type of makeup mist that sets your makeup on because it's just gonna give that hydration back. Let's give it a go. Okay. Ooh, it's my mascara smudged a little bit. This is why. It has definitely given some hydration to my skin. Dried pretty quickly. Not overly glowy though. Not like crazy amount of glow. I'm just taking this dark purpley brown sort of color. Oh, actually it's a purple in it. And I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand. Give it a spray. My Nimya fan is actually charged for once in my life. I've got to say that does look gorgeous on the rest of my skin. Like it's added glow, but not oiliness. While that continues to dry, I think I've got it all in my hair. I'm gonna try one of these Charlotte Tilbury lip blur airbrush things, which kind of just look like the NYX soft matte lip cream kind of things. And they're like, oh, it's this lip blotting blurring effect. I'm like, no, it's just a matte lip cream, which has been around for years, but whatever. I'm gonna go for the pink shade to match the rest of my makeup. This is called Rose Blur. The packaging is nice. I think they look cool. Oh my God, it smells exactly like the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. Or like, you know that old classic liquid lipstick smell that's like vanilla-y with a hint of lipstick? <laughs> Actually, it does feel really, really light. I was about to say it's cute, but NYX did this years ago. It definitely feels lighter than the soft matte lip creams, but it's just a matte lip cream. It doesn't match my eyes enough, so I think I'm gonna take this off and do a bright pink, but it feels nice. It feels very lightweight. Like, it's not like a matte liquid lipstick, but it's got that, like, whipped sort of texture. Oh, interesting. It doesn't transfer too much. It just has a tiny bit of transfer, which is nice, but not really my thing. Feels a bit too dry. Okay, let's test this eyeshadow swatch. I have a feeling it's gonna smudge. Yeah, it's just a smudgy one, but that's okay. That's okay. You know what? Charlotte Tilbury's got an amazing setting mist that does stick your makeup on, but if you want one that gives you more hydration and like adds life back into your skin, it's actually really nice. Oh my God, but I also have the NARS ones. Let's try Dolce Vita because I don't have a pink one in these, but I just want to put it on my lips because I know. Oh, they don't really smell. That's interesting. I tried one of these on at the event. Oh my God. They actually melt like butter. Oh, this color is actually really nice. This one is Dolce Vita. I Oh my god. If you like the NARS Afterglow lip balms, you will love these. It's basically those, but just with more color. It is one of the most like hydrating, but thin, but like pigmented actually lipsticks it feels like actual butter like it's so smooth they're amazing okay how many lip products can i put on my lips in one video i'm gonna take it off although this does actually match the eyes really nicely it is cute but i want to go full barbie that one's more red this one's more hot pink let's do the hot pink dream house pink such cute packaging oh my god oh my god they smell unreal that is giving Barbie. Mmm. It's one of their matte lip creams, but this one just feels like extra pigmented and creamy. It feels amazing. And the color payoff, incredible. I love it. It feels so comfortable. Like it's matte, but it's not like dry matte. It's creamy matte. So there we go. And to top this all off, I'm gonna put on the Barbie lashes. I will be right back. I'm not gonna do this on camera because my camera is nearly out of footage. I'm just gonna stick these on, but they are the NYX Barbie lashes. Oh my God, wait, they have a bit of pink in them. They're an ombre lash with pink let's try it anyway so i stuck on some gems and the lashes and this is the finished look those lashes actually feel really lightweight i like them so that is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please give it a thumbs up i will leave all the products that i used down below and if you're not already subscribed i would love to have you i hope you guys are good and i will see you in my next video bye